Crystal, uh, you've been working now for several weeks going to indoor meets uh, this coming weekend. The several national years. Yeah. Say years. <laughs> years. <laughs> Not weeks. Uh, uh, the national championships are this yeah. weekend. What type of expectations do you take going up there? Um, just giving everything I have and um, hopefully coming back with the national championship wow. and the pin top on. So I'm just going to go out there and get after it. It's the last time to wear the Angela uniform, so might as well get after it. <laughs> when you performed in the outdoor track and field, you had multiple events. So you're doing that again, the indoor meet. Uh, mm -hmm. What type of challenge does that provide? Do you have to kind of remind folks on several different things? Um, I actually kind of like it. Last year, you know, I only did the pentathlon, and I, I mean, I'm glad that I just got to focus on that. But I like having a lot of different events so I can kind of not just concentrate on and stress myself out. Here I can go and get the quarter done and just kind of get my nerves out and then start the pentathlon and then high jump and then hopefully be in the finals for the quarter. Does any of this either help you or does it hinder your effort to try and make the Mexican Olympic team? Uh, it helps. Um, I've put it on the back burner as of now just because I wanted to focus on this and this has been my goal and after this weekend I kind of reevaluate things and um, we've been keeping up. They've, I tell them my times and stuff so they know the things about me but I'll kind of figure out where I want to go from here after this. Um, just myself really just kind of I need to remember just to have fun and you know no matter what if it come if I do come back as with one or if I don't it's still going to be like a great experience you know this is like I said the last time I get to wear the Angela uniform and that means a lot to me um, so I just take pride in representing Angela State. Our national championship weekend for indoor that's something that you've only been a part of here at ASU for the last couple of seasons how do you evaluate the progress of the athletes that are competing indoor? Well, you know, when you look at our list last year versus this year, obviously we had a few more kids going to the indoor nationals last year, but when you look at our, our list overall qualifiers for this year, we had a great a greater number of kids qualify this year uh, for the indoor championship. At least get on the list. Uh, they just didn't get selected into the meet. So I think that says a lot about you know where we're going with this that uh, as our numbers continue to increase that we're, we're going to it'll swing and we'll get more and more actually to the indoor championship you know uh, uh, obviously crystal is going this year she's going to be our lone representative but she's qualified in several different events and uh, that was one of the things that led to her uh, being named uh, athlete of the year for the region uh, but she's gotten in in the high jump and she's gotten in in the 400 and in the pentathlon and obviously uh, the 400 and the pentathlon probably are two strongest events based upon the schedule you know I'm not negating her high jump. She's a, a definitely a great high jumper, but it's going to take place probably about an hour after she runs the, the 800 of the pentathlon, so she'll probably be a little bit leg weary there, but you know at that point her, her number one event is the pentathlon, so I, you know, I told her, hey, I said on Friday we can run the prelims the quarter and work to get to the finals and uh, and then you know concentrate on the pent, and then after that everything just be kind of icing on the cake. Anything we do after that I think will be just, just extra from that standpoint. When she comes back, is she still going to help? Is it a graduate assistant? Oh, yeah, she, she's outdoor? a graduate assistant. It, 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 uh, she's uh, done a really good job of juggling uh, all of her duties because uh, she's coaching and, and, uh, and competing. So she kind of does uh, some training on her own, different hours during the day so that she can be there in the afternoon. And uh, as valuable as she is uh, as an athlete for our program, she's equally as valuable as a coach. She's got a great eye. She's a great young coach. And, and just does a lot uh, with those kids that she works with, the events that she works with, is able to, to really, uh, you know, get on their level and, and be able to get them to see the things they need to do and, and so forth and so on. So. 